was two years after I originally had planned to go to London again, I was finally able to take the trip. I was fortunate enough to be able to buy SAS Plus tickets and had not only access to Fast Track but also the lounge. On my way to London, I flew via Copenhagen as that was the cheapest option. Fortunately, I had a direct flight home. I finished the book Crown Chasers by Rebecca Koffendaffer on my flight to Copenhagen. Crown Chasers is the first book in a duology and I quite enjoyed it. Fortunately, I had brought my Kobo and I started reading Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay that I had borrowed in Libby. Libby is a library app and directly connected to my Kobo. Bad Feminist is a collection of essays and I found it to be a very interesting read. just checked in to my hotel room or just arrived at the hotel and checked in and I'm here now feels good the room is not bad it's okay it's uh, it's of the better ones in London I think well it's not like luxury or anything I couldn't afford that at all but it's not like the really cheap hotels I have stayed a lot of at really cheap hotels. <laughs> I'm here and that feels good. I am exhausted though. I traveled via Copenhagen uh, because of uh, ticket prices. Normally I would just fly directly from Oslo to London but I had some points to use so I flew via Copenhagen. That was the cheapest one but I did fly SAS Plus and there was no queuing. <laughs> There was just really smoothly, the only queue I had to wait in was at the border at Heathrow and that's normal. So I had expected maybe to like have been to wait for a couple of hours or something but no. And the bags didn't take too long either. And now I'm actually quite hungry and I'm going to eat a bit. And I popped by Marks and Spencer just to get like a sandwich and some water. On my way here I actually finished Crown Chasers by Rebecca Koffendeffer and I really enjoyed it. It's young adults, it's science fiction and it's LGBTQ+, which are all things I really really like. I'm not going into details at the moment because I'm chatted and I really want to go to bed uh, but I think I will do a little bit more reading before I go to sleep. I have started reading Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay and it's really good, it's very interesting. It's a collection of um, essays and it deals with feminism and gender and I am excited to continue reading it. Good morning. It is a sunny day today and oh this is the first time I'm speaking so my voice is really weird but this is my view from my hotel room. Uh, it's okay it's not very exciting it's mostly just buildings but it's a sunny day so that's fine and I wanted to open the windows but they're locked. I started Tuesday with a cup of coffee and some reading, then a light breakfast before I went to do some book shopping. The first shop I visited was Scoob Books, which sells second-hand books. to 
browse around and see if you can find some treasures. shop was Gays the Word, which is an LGBTQ plus bookshop. Third and last bookshop of the day was Jud Bucks. In the afternoon, Slash evening, I met with two fellow bookstagrammers, but I didn't do any recording. It was fun to finally meet them after following each other on Instagram for years. After meeting up with the bookstagrammers, I went back to the hotel. It was nice just to do some relaxing and reading before going to bed. <music> On Wednesday, I had my breakfast at Mildred's. They're a plant-based cafe and I almost always eat there when I'm in London. After breakfast, I went to Camden, where I just walked around. There are always plenty to look at there. to Brilliant Park where I just relaxed before heading to Dukes, London. I am currently in Green Park just relaxing for a bit before I head for afternoon tea at the Dukes, which I'm really looking forward to. I have my e-reader so I can read. I am looking forward to it. And later on today I am meeting up with Olivia Savannah. Uh, I will link to her channel down below. Looking forward to meeting her as well. It will be fun, I think. We're going to go to Waterstones Piccadilly, which is a huge bookshop and I'm looking forward to that as well. I'm re repeating myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> Duke's London is a hotel and I had booked a table at the drawing room there for afternoon tea. I had the vegan afternoon tea and went for the tea called Royal Flush. The tea was really nice, but to be honest, the food could have been better, especially the cakes. After afternoon tea, I had a look in the Hatchet Bookshops. Hatchet's Bookshops was founded by John Hatchet in 1797. They are now a part of the Waterstone chain. I headed to Waterstones Piccadilly, which is a large bookshop. They have five floors, if I remember correctly. When I arrived there, I felt tired, so I sat down at the cafe on the top floor. I had a cold drink while I waited for Olivia Savannah. When she arrived, we browsed the bookshops, but neither of us bought any books. 
I think it was thanks to her that I ended up not getting too many books. We then had dinner at Shroi Raman. Uh, it was really lovely to meet her and time just flew by. It is Thursday, which means I have my last full day here in London. Yesterday was really nice. I had afternoon tea at the Dukes. I met up with Olivia Savannah. I will link to her channel down below, as I've mentioned previously. It was so nice. Uh, we went book browsing and I'm surprised I didn't buy anything. I think it's thanks to Olivia Savannah because she has this really cool system for book buying. So every time she reads one of her unread books on her shelf, she adds a, a certain amount of money to her book budget or book buying budget. I don't know if I would have been able to do that, but I, I'm, I really admire that. And since she didn't buy anything, it was easier probably for me not to also like buy anything. Today I am not sure what I'm going to do other than I'm going to meet up with book crossers at 4 p.m. And there's probably more bookshops to browse, but I am now getting hungry, so I am going to go out and see if I can find some breakfast. I ended up having breakfast at an American Irish pub not far from the hotel. The breakfast wasn't great, but it was vegan. After breakfast, I bought a yummy vegan donut, which I ate at the hotel. Then I headed to the Tower of London. I didn't go inside, but went for a walk along the Thames. After my walk, I went to Doubt Books. This might be one of the most beautiful bookshops in the world, don't you think? some wonderful coffee at Hagen before heading for the pub to meet up with the book crossers. I have had a really wonderful bath because there's a bathtub in my hotel room. I really enjoyed the book crossing meetup but after I'd been there I went back to the hotel and I was really really tired so I haven't really done anything since only the bath in the bath I was reading of course I wish I had a bath tub at home I really do but I don't but the book I'm reading or the book I was reading in the bath is this book I think it's just called Adwa in English I am reading it in a Swedish translation. It was translated from the Italian to the Swedish. It has also been translated into the English. It's translated by Helena Monti into the Swedish. I am struggling with one thing though. The font is really small. Uh, I'll just show you an example. It's super small font and I'm not saying it's like a huge problem but it feels like it's taking like forever to write it. It is an interesting read. It's a book about uh, three people who, who has uh, left Somalia and moved to Italy and they have uh, 
They're different stories and they're like different eras. It's a book crossing book. I'm supposed to read it and then pass it on to the next reader who is waiting for it. For my last breakfast in London, I went back to Mildred's and had a nice breakfast. After breakfast, I relaxed in my room until it was time to check out to the hotel. Due to the Piccadilly line not running over Easter weekend, I took the Circle line to Paddington and then a TRL train to Heathrow. I finished Bad Feminist on the tube and since I was living in England, I found it rather fitting to start reading Mrs. England by Stacey Halls. Mrs. England was a book crossing book I had gotten at the meetup the day before. To my surprise, both the travel to the airport, checking in and going through security went really well, smoothly. I hardly queued at all. This also meant I ended up having six hours at the airport before my plane left. I decided to go to one of the lunges I had access to and spent some hours there eating food and drinking wine and pop. I also managed to read quite a lot. Having a direct flight back to Norway also meant I got to read and drink wine while relaxing before setting foot on Norwegian soil again.